I'm Lloyd Holiday, and this is the Cost of a Thing podcast. Thanks for listening in today. So what happened to that great standard of living that we used to enjoy here in America in the 1960s and even into the 1970s? Well, that's what the Cost of a Thing podcast is all about, and that's what I'm going to be talking about here. Hello, Lloyd. This this is Nancy Pelosi. Um, from San Francisco, California. That is none other than Nancy Pelosi calling in to the Should Have Called Lloyd Show to ask some advice about the impeachment of Donald Trump. And of course, we'll be hearing the rest of that call in a few minutes here. Okay, uh, this is another episode of my new segment called Should Have Called Lloyd. Okay, this is my second uh, should have called Lloyd episode. If you watch the first one, uh, you know it's where I examine some of the stupid things, the millions of stupid things that I see uh, people doing in the world that really affect them negatively and have very uh, harsh consequences on them. And today I'm going to be doing one on Nancy Pelosi. Um, and her decision to pursue this impeachment against President Trump. Sure, she could have stopped it if she wanted to. She decided to go ahead with it. That was a stupid decision, as we've seen. Uh, Now that we know how it turned out and it didn't work, it just was a bad decision. And, you know, my opinion here, uh, I think it was uh, probably an emotional decision made out of anger or some type of hysteria. I don't think they really had enough evidence there. I don't think Trump did anything wrong uh, that I see. Look like uh, the charges, one of them was obstructing Congress and the other one was abuse of power. Well, you know, those those two things, they don't sound like crimes to me. I don't think they are crimes. I think they are uh, opinions. You know, that's you know, it's up for debate whether he abused his power, you know, or whether it was just something he was doing as part of his power. <laughs> and the president is a powerful man uh, by na- by the nature of the position he's in. That is, the president of the United States is one of the most powerful people in the world, if not the most powerful. And to say he abused that power is, it's a mighty subjective call. It's really all opinion. Anyway, it all, it all turned out that the Senate thought that there was nothing there. And I thought that too. Well, Nancy Pelosi should have called Lloyd before she went ahead with this whole thing. Several months' time was wasted, and I'm sure millions and millions of dollars were wasted on this one. We have so many other things that need to be addressed by these uh, congressmen. So, Nancy Pelosi should have called Lloyd. And... You know, I'm going to do a little a phone call as if, what if Nancy Pelosi would have called Lloyd? Here's a little of how that might have went if that happened. Hello, this is Lloyd Holiday at Shoulda Called Lloyd. Hello, Lloyd. This is, uh, 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 this, this is Nancy Pelosi uh, from San Francisco, California. Um, and I am, you know, as you know, I probably know I'm the Speaker of the House of Representatives. <laughs> I really don't know how I got that job, but I, I am the House of Representatives Speaker. Well, I have a question for you today. Um, you know, we, we've been thinking about, in the House, many of the members of the House and myself, the leaders, have been considering impeaching Donald Trump. We've been thinking about this since 2016. Uh, but we were waiting for the Mueller report. Didn't didn't pan out. Didn't there was nothing there. But now we are. We think we got some other stuff we can get him on. Uh, we want to get him on something. We want to impeach him. And we want to get rid of him. We want to get rid of him. You know, he's just you know he's 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 just terrible. We can't stand him. He's trying trying to build a wall and all, everything. You know, I, I, you need to get rid of him. And, well, I'm out here in San Francisco right now at my uh, uh, trying to trying to get some lunch at one of the fine restaurants in my district here, 
But, uh, hey, you, excuse me a minute, Lloyd, there's a guy. Hey, you cannot poop there. Get out of here. Get away from there. My God. So many of these people. We got this homeless problem in San Francisco. And, you know, frankly, I don't want to deal with it. But back to Trump. I want to impeach Donald Trump. What do you think? Well, Nancy, I'm glad you called me because I don't think you should do it. Don't do it. From what I can see, you don't have any real evidence there of anything, any wrongdoing. I mean, the Russia hoax blew up in your face, and it's going to look like now, since that didn't get you any material to go after Trump with, that it's going to look like you just are creating something, like you're kind of saying you are there. And it's just going to look bad. And a lot of the voters, independent voters, certainly the Republican voters, are going to absolutely hate this. The independent voters, if they see this is not done fairly, they might tend to side with Donald Trump, and more of them could vote for Donald Trump after this. So you have to kind of think of the consequences there. See, that could have negative consequences on the next election. And... If you remember when the Republicans impeached Bill Clinton back in the 90s, they had control of the House of Representatives like you do now, and they were voted out the very next election. The whole House flipped to the Democrats' control because I think a lot of independents didn't like that impeachment either. They expect you to work things out among each other without resorting to... Uh, removing people from office, except in a very extreme case, major crimes and things like that. And, uh, you know, from my way of thinking, um, whenever somebody does something to create trouble where there was no trouble, and that kind of would be what this impeachment is, it's a creation of trouble where there is no real trouble there, what I believe is that's a little bit of evil there. You're bringing, you're bringing trouble into the world where there is none. So that's kind of an evil thing, in my opinion. And Nancy, you know full well that you're never going to get Donald Trump removed in the Senate. You would have to get 67 Senate votes. That means you'd have to get all of the Democrats, who there's about 45, couple of independents, that's two more, 47, then you'd have to get 20 of the Republicans to vote to remove Donald Trump. You know full well that that is never going to happen. So the way I look at it, anybody that goes into any kind of a lawsuit or a legal prosecution or a case like this that absolutely knows they can't win is just doing it for harassment purposes. And that's what it's going to look like to everybody else that can think straight. So that's another reason I wouldn't do it. It's going to look like you're harassing the president. Not a good idea. And again, any kind of a lawsuit, say I, say I want to sue my neighbor, you can sue anybody for anything. I mean, that doesn't mean that, you know, it's a good thing. You can sue anybody to harass them. Sure, then they have to hire an attorney to protect themselves, cost them money. This is what Trump's going to do. He's going to hire an attorney to protect himself and try to fight against whatever charges you try to bring up against him. Just like if I tried to sue my neighbor for something and I knew I couldn't win. I can sue him, but you know, either the judge is going to throw it out or I'll lose in court. It's going to cost me a lot of money. Uh, it's going to cost him money. So basically, it's just a harassment lawsuit. And, I, and if you do this, it's just going to be basically a harassment situation. And that's why you're doing it, uh, would be doing it, I think. Because you're never going to remove the guy. Uh, it's not going to happen. So, again, the answer, no, don't do it. Get back to work and do some things for the American people that are good for the country, good for America and that'll help people in our country have a better life and a better standard of living. So, okay, Nancy, that's, uh, that's what I think. Uh, Nancy? Nancy, are you there? 
huh, uh, you know, I think she hung up on me. Either that or she ran off with the homeless guy. Thank you for listening in today. And until next time, this is Lloyd Holiday signing off. Oh,